Yemesarach is one of 5,000 school children in Ethiopia taking part in the project One Laptop Per Child. The 12 year old was one of the first kids here to receive what's called an X01, and she's already learned how to use it. One advantage of the small machines is their energy efficiency, and the children can recharge the batteries themselves using hand operated dynamos. The children's teachers are trained here in this centre in Addis Ababa. This is the first time many of them have ever used a computer. Eskender Andulam explains how the machines are put together and how they work. The teachers have to learn to install the operating systems and carry out small repairs themselves. And we are going to have this new way of teaching a new way of handling these ta laptops, a new way of handling every what they have learned in schools and they may come to their homes and they can they remember. The sessions are essential as most of the teachers have no computer experience. Soon they'll have to pass on what they learn to their students. One of the pilot schools is situated in a remote region of the country's interior. The surrounding area has very little infrastructure, so it's vital that the teachers learn how to be self-sufficient. Each box delivered to the school contains five computers. The laptops have digital memory chips instead of hard drives. The children's families can also use the machines to call up information stored on the laptop about medicine and agriculture. The small white boxes are a curious sight for the local villagers. The trainer uses games to increase the children's confidence. The first one involves figuring out how to open the computers. The antenna on the side has to be folded back before the screen can be lifted. It's easy to do once you know how. This girl's the winner. The trainer plays a few more introductory games and shares some basic tips. Then the computers are finally handed over to the teachers. The laptops are designed to be robust. They should continue working for at least five years without any problems. Each machine must make frequent contact with the school's computer network. If a computer is not detected by the network for two weeks, it is automatically turned off. The mechanism is designed to deter theft. Well, they're getting the signature of the teachers, just to confirm that they have received the laptops. And meanwhile, also, we are also collecting the MAC address of each computer, so that later on it will help us for our tracking system also. And that's what we are doing currently. So far, some 700,000 laptops have been distributed around the world. Yes, Yemesarach uh, believes her yeah. new computer will open doors to new realms of opportunity. I want to be a doctor, and I want to increase my knowledge by using the computer. She's already having fun with the machine. For Yem Messerach and her classmates, the computers represent the beginning of a long journey of discovery.